Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today, we're actually going to be going over five things I absolutely adore about Animal Crossing New Horizons. And trust me, I absolutely adore this game. But we all know Animal Crossing is not a perfect game. So I've also created five things I hate about Animal Crossing New Horizons. And actually, that video was a lot harder <laughs> to actually get five reasons for because I really do love this game. But I'll have that in the top right corner and in the description for you guys to go check it out right after this video. Without further ado, Let's get right into it. So number one, I love the design possibilities. Now in Animal Crossing New Horizons specifically, we have been blessed with a ton more design slots, especially with Nintendo listening to us and giving us 50 more design slots, allowing us to have so many more complicated pathing and simple panels, face cutouts, and so many more things that we can decorate with, but also the fact that we can decorate outside and not just inside for the first time ever. Now, yeah, the game's been out for a year now and that's not new news, but trust me, if you played the older games, this is huge huge and you can really get immersed in your island and have so much more gameplay in that sort of way. And on top of that, we can actually decorate the inside of our houses to a level that we weren't even able to in the past. It is actually such a huge step forward for Animal Crossing. Now for reason number two. The graphics. Now, the Switch is not known for being the most powerful <laughs> console in the entire world, not even close to it. It actually sometimes chugs and lags on its own games, but you have to admit, the Nintendo team has made these graphics so charming, so beautiful, the textures on the fur of the animals, the design of the different villagers that you can get, the way the leaves look, I personally am absolutely in love with just the way they have them textured, and the optimization they've done in the game is actually really impressive, and that's actually why the world has curvature, so that the game doesn't lag as much. We have so much difference between the seasons. We have winter, spring, summer, fall. We have sometimes black trees. We have cherry blossoms flying through the air and the snow and everything just goes together so beautifully. And speaking of things going together so beautifully, I'm gonna transition right into reason number three, which is the music in this game. The music in Animal Crossing is next level. We have different variations of music depending on the weather, which further immerses you into this beautiful world. Now, when you first start playing the game, you have a little tiny guitar tune. It's very simple, right? And it's very relaxed, slow, little hints of guitar as you further develop into the story and the main storyline of getting the KK concert to come. This music gets more and more intense until the end where all of the music is opened up to you, changing from time depending on when and where and what season and what weather. And let's not even get started on the absolute bangers that are like KK Bubblegum, KK House, KK Driving, Cruisin', Disco, and the beautiful slow songs like Stale Cupcakes and KK Love Song. They are absolutely amazing songs in their own right. And everybody knows, come on, let's be real. Everybody, even outside of Animal Crossing, knows KK Bubblegum. Like, it's just such a good song. It's even in Smash now because, uh, yeah. The only gripe that I have with the music is that I can't go back to the beautiful music that I had when I started the game. Now, I kind of miss it because some times of day get a little bit annoying because I'm always playing during those specific times of day. But I gotta say that everything else is just so much better. There are so few cons with the music in this game absolutely in love and I think you can all agree. Now reason number four that I absolutely love Animal Crossing New Horizons is actually a newer update that Nintendo, we didn't even realize we wanted it, but Nintendo gave it to us and it has really changed the game. Dream addresses. Now not just dream addresses, this is nothing new, but what we get to do is we can have one island, we can decorate our island, design it however we want. It could be a crunchy island maze, which are absolutely amazing guys. By the way, go check out crunchy island, link in the description. He's a great content creator. Just, yeah, do it. Anyway, you can upload them to the dream address, absolutely flatten or wipe out your island, restart the game, and then guess what you can do? You can just upload 
another dream address from your next island. Upload that. They will be different dream addresses. So that means you can actually have the sentimental memory by just writing down your dream address and visiting it again and again. So you can actually feel free to decorate your island however you want and do whatever you want on your island and feel that amazing safety net of being able to start over without actually losing anything or having to buy another version of the game. I, I'm blown away that Nintendo did that. You know, they could have sold more Switch consoles if they just didn't, you know? But it, it just allows so much to the game. They've taken dream addresses and made it better in Animal Crossing New Horizons than it was in the past. Thank you, Nintendo. I appreciate you. <laughs> now, for reason number five, and this was hard because I had way more than five things I loved about the game, but I had to choose the things that really spoke to me and my personal favorite. So before we get into number five, I want you guys to let me know in the comments what your number one favorite thing about Animal Crossing New Horizons is because honestly, I couldn't fit them all in here and I just want to hear all the positivity and love about this game that <laughs> probably the developers don't really hear a lot, you know? With that being said, reason number five five is you guys the community i i can't even begin to imagine how my life would be without the animal crossing community yeah i've played animal crossing games in the past but i haven't loved them not even close to the animal crossing new horizons games because well i didn't have this amazing worldwide international community of amazing creative open-minded loving people like you and I don't know where I'd be without the privilege of being a YouTuber, which is because of this game, but not just because of the game, because of you guys. Why do you watch my videos? I don't know. I love you, though. <laughs> Thank you. And it's just been a year for me at the time of posting this video, a little bit over that, from my first ever video that I posted on this channel. And you guys have made my dreams come true. And I hear time and time again from other members of the community, just regular people like you, how amazing it is and how many friends and connections that you have gotten because of this game. It's a really special game. You guys are really special people. And I really appreciate all of you and the community. You can just go on Twitter for five seconds. And once you like move aside the drama and the arguments, you can see some of the most beautiful pictures and discussions and wholesome stuff in the world from this game. There is no community. Despite every community and every single people in the world always have the bad apples, I have to say, after being in gaming for my entire life since I was a little kid, Animal Crossing has the best community. Hands down. Like, it, ju it just does. They we are the least toxic. Despite having some toxic things, you can't complain about it because we have it so much better than every single other community. I name a better community. You can't, okay? So, that being said, guys, I have a Discord channel, discord.gg slash chase, where you can join that community, right? You can subscribe here on YouTube, but you can also join our Discord and come say hello, make some friends, do some trades, whatever you want. We have a community of over 20,000 members strong. And with you, maybe we could have a 20,000 in one. I don't know why I said it like that, but that's the end of the video, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you love my videos and want to see more. And don't forget to check out the five things I hate about Animal Crossing, uh, despite you just hearing right now how much I love it. Uh, it's kind of a painful video to make, but I feel like it's kind of like a duality. I got to show both sides, you know? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.